I added this date picker to my Excel spreadsheet in less than five minutes. When I'm designing a spreadsheet, it's very important to me that it is user friendly. A date picker, which is like a mini calendar, can be a game changing upgrade for your spreadsheet because it simplifies the process of selecting dates. That can make data entry a delightful task. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a date picker from beginning to end. I'll also teach you a VBA hack that can make the date picker only pop up for date cells. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I teach Excel users how to create spreadsheets they can be proud of. If you use Excel in any capacity, you're in the right place. No matter what kind of spreadsheet you have, I'm sure it could use a little updating. That's why I created the Spreadsheet Tune-Up, a free training just for you. In five short videos, I'll teach you the first steps that can help you to optimize any spreadsheet. So before we get into how to add this date picker, I feel like I wouldn't be doing my duty as an Excel teacher if I didn't tell you that if you're using Excel for the web, there is a native date picker. So any cells, you can see this is a date column, um, but I have only formatted the first cell as a date, and that's up here in the number format. Any cells that are formatted as a date, if you just double click on it, this little calendar comes up. That's a date picker. Um, it, it doesn't work for general cells, so you'd have to format the whole, um, here we go, the whole column as a date. Now anywhere I go here, I can use this date picker. It's automatic. I didn't do anything to set it up. Um, but that helps a lot, you can see, with data entry. It just makes it so much faster. So this is only available in Excel for the web right now. Hopefully someday it will come to Excel desktop. But until then, here's how to create a date picker in Excel for desktop. Here we are in Excel for desktop. There is no native date picker in Excel for desktop, so we're going to need to add an add-in. This is um, really easy to do. Go to the Home tab. I have Excel 365. And go all the way over here to Add-ins. And then you can search for Mini Calendar. And it's this, uh, this first one and click add, it installs it very fast, and then here it is, here it is to use. And um, what this does, okay, I'm having a hard time moving it. I guess you have to go all the way over to the edge. This is a shape, and if you have a cell selected, you can come over here and click on a date, and it will just insert that date. And you can go to the right or left, click any, um, any year, any month. Okay, and it's asking if I want to overwrite because this cell was already populated. There's some options here. You can toggle the calendar size if you want it to be small or big. You can change the theme if you wanted a different color. There's some preset options here. Change the calendar system. Toggle the week numbers. Oh, okay, that's if you do want ISO. Wow, there's so many different options. There's the US calendar. Um, adding these week numbers column. Oh, let's see. This highlights a range of dates. So if you have dates already set up, you wanted to put into this calendar. And then um, I actually prefer to hide these settings and then here you can show them. Um, if you wanted to insert the current time, there's also a button for that. So this is super nice. Um, it's an object, so, or it's a shape. So while you can change this like what it looks like you're changing the shape you're not or the size you're not actually so it just has these two sizes um so put it somewhere that's convenient for your table or for your data if you um if you only have a small number of rows or only a few date fields you can put it just like put it somewhere um close by but one really great upgrade that I've learned about this is with just a little bit of VBA code, you can set this up to automatically pop up anytime you need it. I'll walk you through this step by step. The first thing you need to do is give this object a name. So go to this shape format and then find this button that says selection pane. And that opens up the selection pane so you can change the name of this shape. I'm gonna call it calendar and that will come up later, the name of this object. So now that this has a name, we need to open up the Vis Visual Basic Editor and add some VBA code. This is in the Developer tab. If you don't have access to the Developer tab, right-click anywhere on the ribbon and click Customize the Ribbon, and then check the box next to Developer. That's how you get access to this. Now go all the way over here to Visual Basic, and that opens up the Visual Basic Editor. 
Now he, over here, there's a Microsoft Excel objects, a little folder icon, and then under it, you'll have one page for every sheet in your workbook. Wherever the calendar is, go to that page and then paste the code. You can copy it from the description box of this video. This is a worksheet selection change event so that anytime on that worksheet, you change your selection, this is an event, um, this code will run and it hides the calendar if the active cell isn't a date. And if the active cell is a date, then um, it becomes visible. And then here it changes the position of the calendar to be just below and to the right of the active cell. Now I have set this up to be to match the short date format, number format, which looks like this. If you have a different date format that you want to use, you can totally just change this code right here. You don't have to be a programmer to do this. Just paste this code and then change this. So if you wanted, actually, let's just, let me just show you um, what this looks like. So I'm going to save it and then minimize the visual basic. And you can see I just clicked away and it's hidden. It's gone. Um, oh, I had that formatted. So now let's go over here to home so you can see the number format change. So here it's general. Remember this column is all dates. So when I click anywhere, oh, it didn't work. Short date, there we go. Now I'm gonna click on it and it pops up. I click away, it's gone. Back on this, here it is. It's like popping up anywhere. And then when I click here, um, it inserts the date. So this, and it, I love that it moves with you so that if you're like down here at the bottom, you don't have to scroll all the way up to the top to use the date picker because that would just be impossible. But what if you don't want to use this exact date format? Here's how you can change it. Select the date column and come up here to the number group and click on more number formats. Now we're going to select a date format that looks good. Let's choose this one and then come down to custom and copy this code that's in type. So we've copied it to the clipboard and now it's changed, but you can see that it's not, the date picker no longer works. So now we're gonna open up our VBA code and replace this, um, this number format here with what we've copied and pasted. Now something weird here happens with the encoding so that the VBA number format doesn't exactly match the number format um, in the Excel window that we just saw. So instead of the equal sign, we're gonna use the like operator and then just replace everything in the square brackets with a asterisk, an asterisk which is like a wild card character. So now we're taking, taking care of all that encoding so that it will pretty much always match. You can even replace, if you have trouble, if it doesn't work, you can replace any of these other symbols with an asterisk too, so that you're just getting the actual date um, date codes in in this um, in this parentheses or in this uh, double quotes. Anyway, so we have the like operator which performs like a fuzzy match or partial match. So save this, go back to our, and then we have a control, it's not working here, but then when we click on this cell, you can see the date picker does pop up. So now we can, you know, we can format anything as, okay, I'm just gonna copy the formatting and put it over here. So now if we're anywhere over here that has the same formatting as this, as this column, the date picker will pop up. Take note, everyone who uses this spreadsheet will need to have that add-in installed. And if you implement the VBA code, the file will need to be saved as a macro-enabled workbook. Macros do not work for Excel for the web or Excel in Teams. Let me know in the comments what you think of this Excel upgrade.